<laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another CAFCAST. Hooray! <laughs> Today, we are back here in the wonderful world of Jurassic World. And as I said to you guys next time, last time, last time, next time, that's the same thing, isn't it, right? No, not the same thing. Uh, we were going to put in some windows to start off the episode. So we could actually get a look. In fact, I'm going to make a nice big window here. Nice, big, big, big window. Because look at this sunrise. When it always starts and, and we, we never we never appreciate it. So now, bang, 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 bang. Beep, bop, boop, beep. Are we gonna have enough? Uh, we're not gonna have enough. Have we got enough, have we got some more cooking on the go? We've got have we got enough to <laughs> finish this glass? Okay, beep, bop, boop. Okay, we finished that one. Look at that massive window now. And then we can just like have torches either side of the window. And then we can have torches up here as well. Uh, and then just have them I don't know. We'll have torches sort of going down the sides because this 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 uh, the shadow pack, although it's beautiful, does doesn't half require a lot of lot of light. But that's fine. There we go. Glorious, glorious sun shining through the window now in Stripey Shack. Good job, Stripey Shack. I think we're doing quite well here. Uh, so today is quite an exciting episode. Today we're going to spend some time getting all the fossils sorted out here, and this is going to be really really cool. We need to go and get ourselves some water. Once we've got some water, we can then start cleaning off these fossils. So we need to go down over here. And just get up. We haven't got very many buckets here. We've only got two. Um, but we just need to go get some water from the shore over here. This little sort of like... This is actually like a really, really nicely encased little pool of water that we could use for a for an exhibit. Or like keeping some like cola cans or something in there. Oh, man. I love the that idea. This, <laughs> it's, I think this, this place that we're in, this world that we're in, is so exciting. We have so many just little nooks and crannies and things that we can work with. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So... First, first, uh, first Cretaceous fossil. What do you guys think? Any, any ideas? We're going to put the emergency reserve bucket inside there, and we're going to let it just kind of like clean through all sixteen of these, if we can. And it's a, a rug ops. What's a rug ops? Anybody? Anyone know what a rug ops is? I'm sure. I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows what a rug ops is. Okay. Well, that's good. We've we've made we've made progress. Let's just clear out. So we've got all this stuff from our from our massive adventure that we had <laughs> before, going on a, on a on a crazy fossil hunt that we can actually just get rid of it all now. Uh, we don't need to keep it all on us right now. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go over here and just pick up all the biggest stacks. So 13, 10, 8, 8, 11. Those will do, uh, and then we can just start putting them in. So 11 goes here. We're gonna have to just quickly grab this water here because I don't know. I don't have no idea what a rug ops is. There's one here, so we'll just take that. Do we still have uh, both buckets, or did we have... We've got one in here, and then is there one in here? Have we got any more iron? There's blocks of quartz in there from the uh, the other... from the Indominus Research Centre. Uh, and some amber ore in there, which is fine. That doesn't happen yet. We don't use that yet. That comes later on. Uh, well, I guess we just need to <laughs> keep on running. I know what we'll do this time. We'll make an infinite water source up close to the stripy shack, so we don't have to keep on running back and forth to the shore. Because, stupidly enough, I didn't think that it was a good idea to do that last time. I thought to myself, hey, Calf, you know what you need? Just one block of water. That's all you're ever going to need. So you don't need to make an infinite water source or anything. <laughs> no, so that's not the case, guys. We definitely need to try to get as much water as we possibly can. And the best way of doing that is by making one of these infinite water sources. I'm sure you guys know how these work. Uh, I personally do the block method, but you can do the, the, the sort of like straight line method. Um, there's there's no right way of doing this, apart from the fact that this is how I was how I taught myself a long time ago. There we go, infinite water source done. So that's Tyrannosaurus. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we've got some T Rexes coming. That's good. That's good news, isn't it? I think it is. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, there they are. Okay, she almost ran out of water. So we'll leave this in here quickly. And bang. There we go. Okay. So the way this works is what you need to do. Is change the fossils over for some uh, some actual like parts of, of, uh, of dinosaurs. Most of these are skulls. The reason this one is pink and black is because the texture hasn't been made yet. But don't worry, it will be made very very soon. The Jurassic Craft guys are hard at work making sure they all have uh, the, the correct thing. Oh, dodos! Oh, nice. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but yeah, the Jurassic Craft guys are hard at work making sure that these all are finished up for uh, for you guys. So uh, so we're going to be working together. And step by step, we'll be uh, we'll be looking at a, at a fantastically finished mod, which is going to be really exciting. Actually, I'm quite looking forward to it. So, so far we have Rugops, Tyrannosaurus, which is now finished, so we can put a new one in there. Uh, we have the Dodos, and we also have 
the Mayungasaurus. Oh man, this is amazing. There's so many different options for us to choose from now. And not to forget we have all the amber as well. The difference between amber and this is that the amber one actually skips a step. You don't actually need to clean the amber. You just put the amber straight into the, uh, the DNA. I think it's the DNA sequencer machine. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head because it's quite a complicated procedure. Uh, but we'll de I'll definitely be showing you guys exactly how that all works. So don't worry. That's something we'll be coming up for in a little while. Uh, oh, what's the next one over here? The Sasai Sasai Segisaurus. I can, I can see things. Or Segisaurus, probably. One of the two. I know, I know that the, the, the sticklers for names out there will uh, will correct me when I'm wrong. So I don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, right, okay. So that one's just finished up here. Which is good. So we can put the next one in. Uh, and the rug up skulls are all taken care of and ready to go. I'll tell you what, what we're going to do. Once we've finished off using these uh, fossils in here, we'll put a, a chest at the end here and we'll put all the skulls in there. Delta skull? Who's Delta? Is that... Is that like... As in the Velociraptor Delta? Wow, that might be. Hmm, okay. Uh, Sigisaurus. Dodos. We're just finishing up now, so we'll put the next one in. Uh, that's really interesting. I wonder if does that mean like the the bloodline of the of the Velociraptors from Jurassic World are in this are in this mode or in this game mode? I mean, I, I think that I think we oh oops, <laughs> that's not what we needed to do at all, is it? I think I've I've seen I have seen like uh like I've seen Charlie, have I seen them all? Beta Charlie, I think I think so. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe maybe I I didn't realize they actually just grew in the ground. That's awesome. Look at this, guys. We've got Gigantosaurus as well. Oh my god, this is this is like hitting the jackpot for, for dinosaurs right now. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, anything else running out of water? You have run out of water. So I need to grab the bucket back out of both of these. Put them back down here. Oh my god, this is absolutely incredible. How many how many dinosaurs do you guys want to work with? Because we also have the Leptis Leptictidium. I think that's right. Leptic Didium. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, dear. I like the Gigantosaurus, though. I've had a look through some of the comments, and there are a lot of people that want Velociraptor. And there are a lot of people who want to see, like, Spinosaurus as well. We'll go through them uh, in more detail uh, a little bit later on, once we've had a chance to, uh, to find out exactly what dinosaurs we have to work with. Um, but before that, we need to just make sure that we're doing the right thing here and getting everything ready to go. So, apparently Doug has gone for a little wander. And this is kind of boring for him. Oh, look, we've got the Lododactylus as well. That's cool. They're, they're really awesome dinosaurs. Uh, so we've, we've actually got a really good collection here. The Gigantosauruses are there. Who's in the back here? That's just run out of water situation. There you go. Whether that needs water comes up here. Okay. Hypsilodon. Nice, nice. And the o Oviraptor. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> there are some amazing skulls in here, guys. This is really, really awesome. Uh, what's this one in here? The Hypsilodon, that's what I just said. Yeah, okay. Well, I think we've got some really good ones to work with here. You guys, feel free to leave some comments on this video letting me know which one you would you would like to see still because we've got all the comments on the uh, on the previous episode on the uh, the vote for the next answer episode to go for. And I can look through these ones as well because I have the time. <laughs> but you just need to make sure that you like the video and uh, subscribe to the CAFCast. Once you've done those two things, you are eligible to vote for the next dinosaur. I think... We, I mean, we've we've gone through a few now, but we still have plenty of option to find more. So I'm not too worried. Let's keep on working here, though. Um, what else is there? If we put some more water inside here, actually, no, it doesn't need any more water. Uh, in here instead, just get those those the rest of these Cretaceous fossils done. This one's going to be Gallimimus. Gallimimus is awesome. I'm happy with that. That's a good one. Okay, so let's just go back out here. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just finish the rest of these off off of camera, off of off off off, off, off camera, <laughs> and see if we can find anything else cool to work with. Uh, this one's just finished, so we'll put a fresh one in there. This one's finished, so we'll put a fresh one in there. If we run out of more water, we need to make sure we are prepared here. So let's just get some ready to go. Bang, and bang. There we go. This one must be done by now. Yep. Okay. There we go. This is going to definitely run out of water in the next one. So let's wait for that. And see what the last couple of dinosaurs are going to be for the uh, <laughs> for the little collection that we've got ourselves here. This is amazing. Velo we found Velociraptors, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder if it would be cool to make like a massive Velociraptor exhibit with 
like Beta and like Charlie and Delta and Echo. What do you guys think? Would that be awesome? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'm I'm really excited to be working with this. This is amazing. It's it, it feels like everything's coming to life now. We're actually finding all these dinosaurs that we can work with from the ground and like taking all the fossils and cleaning them off in these machines. They're going wow 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 wow, and they're they're eventually getting through all these fossils. Tyrannodons, Aculobators. What's that other one? Carnotaurus. Paras Parasaurophus. Par Parasaurolophus. Oh yeah, I can I can say say words. Orthonalia. Oh, that sounds like a, a flower. Uh, wow. Okay. Right. Last couple then. Let's just we'll just finish with the ones that we've got in our hands, and then we'll uh, then we'll finish up for today. Those these two have run out of water, so we'll just have to go with this one. Uh, this one is Spinosaurus as well. We have got Velociraptor and Spinosaurus, the two that you guys wanted to work with. That's incredible. We've got pretty much everything that you could want which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, well, I think we're probably quite good to go here. That's Triceratops, nice. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we've actually run out of water again here, so we're going to have to go and find some more water. Uh, we don't even have the things, things last, and it's getting dark and things. I've got too excited that the episode's a little bit longer as well, which I know some of you guys want to see longer episodes, so there you go. It's, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, I have no idea how long actually it is. It might be a little bit longer. I hope it's a little bit longer. Who knows? But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. We are doing amazing work here. We found loads of really awesome dinosaurs. And actually, what we're going to end up doing here is just having like so many cool things to work with. Uh, and we can spend loads of awesome time making a fantastic, fantastic Jurassic World. I hope you guys are going to be looking forward to that. I'm going to definitely need your help choosing all the different designs and stuff. But we have, before we finish up here, Let's just quickly, I have to put these in manually. That's weird. Okay. Just grab these all like this. There we go. This is like everything bar like a couple. So let's just quickly just see if we can get these ones done. You know what? Let's work into the night. I'm going to be, I'm going to be nice to you guys. This is going to be a slightly longer episode because it's, it's checking all the dinosaurs that we have to work with right now. And then you guys know what you can vote from. We can always go back and find some more uh, if we need to. That's that. I'm okay with that. Uh, there we go. Another, another. Tropa, Tropeognathus. <laughs> wow. Brachiosaurus. Oh, awesome. We only have the one, but I mean, it'd be quite cool to have a Brachiosaurus just, just hanging out, being like, na, 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 na. I'm Brachiosaurus now. I am hanging out and having fun. Dunk, Dunk, Leo, Leostis. Leostius. <laughs> Dunk, Leostius. Really? Dunk, Leostius. Yeah, Dunk, Leostius. Do you reckon he's good at basketball, guys? Do you reckon? Do you reckon he's good? <laughs> maybe. Maybe he is. Indominus. Oh, Indominus. Wow. Maybe we can make a partner for Indy. Maybe that's actually a bit dangerous. I, I might I might not do that, actually, just in case. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. So here you go, then, guys. Let's put these all in the, in the chest here. So we've got, we know exactly what we have to work with. It should fill up the entire chest, actually. It's not, it's not even, it's not even the whole collection of dinosaurs that we have to work with right now. This is just the ones that we found so far. Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, Rugops, Spinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, <laughs> Dodo, Lepticidium, uh, uh, Pteranodon, Gallimimus, Gigantosaurus, Oviraptor, Carnotaurus, Ankylosaurus, Achillobator, Othenelia, Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptor, Delta, Tropo Tropiognathus. God, I can, I can say these words. Ludodactylus, <laughs> Psychosaurus, Mayangosaurus, Dunkleosteus, Indominus, Proctoraptylus. Uh, Proctoraptylus? No, Pro Proctoceratops. Proctoceratops, there we go. Hypsilodon and Compsognathus. My god. That's an incredible amount of dinosaurs to work with to start off, guys. And don't forget that we've still got loads that we can find. And we even have all, all of these ambers, these 13 amber ores to work with with the next machines. So this is, this is truly exciting, guys. Join me for the next episode when we make sure all the hatchery is all set up really, really nicely. And we choose the next dinosaur for us to actually start properly working on. And that means we'll choose it. And we'll, we'll give a shout out to everybody who suggested that dinosaur. And then we will do all the really 
awesome, awesome things like start working on the exhibit, get the DNA uh, put into some uh, some embryos if we need to, or, or whatever it is that we need to get sorted out. I mean, this is going to be this is going to be absolutely incredible, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. But until then, guys, until next time, until a day after tomorrow, I've been Kaf of the Kafcast. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure that if you are liking and enjoying the videos that you like them. Uh, and if you want to see more, please make sure that you're subscribed to the CAFCast. But until next time, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you all very, very soon, guys. Have a good week. Goodbye. You've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.